Um, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jessica Smith, and this is my mother, Kimberly Smith, who attended my appointments with me at Michigan State University Sports Medicine. I am a dancer and a teacher. I am a survivor of Larry Nassar and also the creator of the Facebook page, Me Too MSU. Congratulations for that. That was outstanding, enormous. Thank you. I want to thank everyone who has reached out to me with their stories on the page. You are amazing. I was hesitant to speak here today because, quite frankly, I don't believe that this man, or lack thereof, deserves to hear any of us speak. I decided that I'm here today to take another step in my healing process, which I have chosen. That is my decision. I'm here to speak to you, Your Honor. I'm here to support all the amazing women and men, too, that have endured the trauma from defendant. Because of Nassar, I struggle. I struggle to trust and feel comfortable. I struggle to sleep and to be me. I struggle to stay sane and stable. Sorry, stable. And most importantly, I struggle to be myself. However, at the end of the day, I do not feel these qualities. Sorry, let me move back a little bit. Most importantly, I struggle to be me. I am an independent, strong, loving, and passionate young woman, and I deserve to feel myself. However, at the end of the day, I do not feel these qualities because my ability to be myself was taken away from someone who abused my trust as well as my body. The trauma of the abuse has caused me, my family, my community can never be undone. Yet, what allows me to get out of bed each day is the hope of creating a better and safer environment around me. That starts with me knowing that Nassar will no longer pose a risk and will never be allowed to be a part of the community or the society again. At the age of 17, I saw Nassar for a very severe ankle sprain. This baffles me. How he made his way to my private areas. After my first appointment, I remember looking for validation of what happened from friends who had also seen him for treatment. I recall this day like it was yesterday. I, I went to my dance friends and asked them if they were uncomfortable in their appointments, and they laughed and said, yeah, we joke Nassar was the first guy to finger us. They laughed, and I was comforted by knowing I wasn't alone. Now I'm mortified that I didn't understand exactly what that meant in that time. That day I lost a large piece of myself and my sanity. Not only has this sexual abuse taken away my ability to be myself, but it has also caused extreme physical and emotional pain. Since being victimized, I suffer from a rare form of extreme migraines that no neurologist has been able to understand or diagnose. This too left me asking myself what was wrong with me over and over again. These migraines begin with half of my body going numb, including my tongue, causing me to be unable to speak. I also lose basic functioning skills such as fine and gross motor, unable to write, or even sometimes walk. These effects of my migraines can cause me to be confused and unable to think clearly for up to days after the initial searing headaches. This, in addition to my anxiety and inability to sleep, leaves me in an unhealthy state, both physically and emotionally. Each day I'm fighting to be me again. In addition to being inspired by these incredibly strong women and wanting to set an example to my students, I am motivated to come forward publicly with my story and being involved in this case to set a precedent that I will not be silenced and I will seek justice. This justice includes answering the questions of who allowed this to happen and, and why, and that's including Michigan State University, USAG, and Twist Stars Enablers, who will be holding them accountable. And I can assure people that I'm not going anywhere. I know that the court setting a significant precedent with your ruling is critical in my healing process. With time and persistence, we will all end up where we are meant. Whereas we survivors stand here as strong and empowered women, you, Nassar, sit there as a sick man finally understanding your overdue fate. My only words to you is that you will never control me again. This does not define me. I am strong in finding myself again. I hope that you will consider the endless impact and instability this weighs on my family and me as well as so many others, every day. <laughs> I want to thank you, Your Honor, for the very large role in my healing process that you have played. <laughs> thank you.